Are you thinking about starting a daycare center? If so, there are eight steps you need to know before getting started. So watch this full video to start a daycare business in your city. Step one, why you want to start a daycare business. There are many reasons why you may want to start a daycare business. Perhaps you have a passion for working with children and want to turn that passion into a business. Maybe you are a stay-at-home parent who is looking for a way to earn an income while still being able to spend time with your own children. Whatever your reason, starting a daycare can be a rewarding experience both personally and financially. As the number of working parents continues to increase, there is an ever-growing demand for quality childcare. By starting your own daycare business, you can help meet this demand while also providing a valuable service to your community. Step 2 types of daycare you want to start. There are different types of daycare that you can start, each with its own set of benefits and challenges. Let me share most popular types of daycare business that you can start. 1. Home-based daycare. This type of daycare is typically run out of the provider's home and can be a great option for those who want more intimate settings for their children. However, home-based daycares can be more difficult to get up and running due to zoning and other regulations. 2. Center-based daycare. These types of daycare centers are typically larger and have more staff than home-based centers. They also tend to offer more amenities and activities for children. However, they can be more expensive to start and operate than home-based centers. 3. Specialty daycare. There are also specialized types of daycare, such as those with a focus on infants or toddlers, or those that cater to kids with special needs. These types of centers can be more expensive to start than traditional centers, but they may be in high demand in your community. Step 3. Get daycare license from your government. In order to open a daycare center, you will need to obtain a license from your local government. This requirement for obtaining a license vary from state to state, but generally speaking, you will need to submit an application and pay a fee. Once your application has been approved, you will be issued a license that must be displayed in a prominent place at your facility. Step 4. Decide a location for your daycare business. When opening a daycare center, it is important to choose a location that is easily accessible to parents and guardians who will be dropping off and picking up their children. The location should also be safe and secure with plenty of space for the children to play and learn. The building itself should be spacious, clean, and welcoming with age-appropriate toys and equipment for the children in your care. If you are renting space for your daycare business, be sure to get all the necessary permits and licenses from the landlord before moving in. Step 5. Create a fun and safe environment for kids. As a daycare center owner, you want to create a fun and safe environment for the kids in your care. Make sure to carefully screen all potential employees and only hire those whom you feel comfortable and trusting with the care of your young charges. All staff and parents should be aware of the safety procedures in place at your daycare center. Be sure to have a plan for dealing with potential emergencies such as a fire or severe weather. Kids need to burn off energy, so make sure there is plenty of space for them to run around and play games both indoors and out. In addition to active play, kids also need stimulating activities to keep them engaged mentally. Age-appropriate activities that are both fun and educational will help keep your daycare center top of mind for parents looking for high quality childcare options. Step six, working plan for daycare business. To start, you'll need to research the cost of opening and operating a daycare center in your area. You'll also need to determine the amount of space you'll need to accommodate your projected numbers of clients. Once you have an idea of the startup costs and space requirements, you can begin to put together a more detailed budget and timeline for your business. Step seven, Hire staff and marketing strategy for daycare business. First, you'll want to make sure that your staff is passionate about working with children and committed to providing high quality care. Second, you'll need to develop a marketing strategy that targets both parents and children. And finally, you'll want to create a warm and welcoming environment at your daycare center that makes parents and children feel comfortable and safe. And step eight, open your daycare. Define your target market. Are you going to focus on infants, toddlers, or school-aged children? Each age group has different care needs. Develop a schedule and curriculum that meets the needs of your target market. Again, 
Infants will need a different schedule and activities than toddlers or school-aged children. Promote your business. Create flyers and posters to hang around town and post on online classified websites. You can also offer discounts or promotions to attract new customers. You need to write a business plan before you can start a daycare business. Watch this full video to learn all basic and advanced for writing a perfect business plan for your startup.